Hey, what's going on my TF amigos? This is Rimfire bringing you another freaking review. And today, yes today, I'm gonna be reviewing this guy right here. Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class <gasps> Ravage. Yes, Mr. Ravage, what's up man? And first off, I just wanna thank Mr. Pial. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, he was holding a contest uh, I think it was contest number six, in which he was giving out a mud flap. I entered in the contest, and the niblet picked me, and I was like, "Oh my god, freaking awesome!" And um, he, Pia was cool enough to throw this guy in there. He's like, "All right, Mr. Rimfire, you either have a choice to pick mud flap or this guy right here." He pulled out Ravage. I was like, "Oh my god!" I mean, mud flap is cool and all, but. No brainer. I had to pick Ravage. So I just want to thank you again, Pial. You're amazing, my friend. But uh, yes, this is his Panther mode. I think this is the way he comes packaged. I think. And uh, this is the better of the two modes. There's a third mode. A little secret fan mode that uh, you could check out if you watch Pial's review on it. Um, it's kind of like a laser beak slash chocobo. Uh, mode for all you uh, Final Fantasy fans out there, so it's kind of cool. Just check check out Pial's review if you want to see that. But uh, I'm really digging this mode. I like the colors on it. I don't know if you could see that. That's like a turquoise blue, and that's a lighter blue. They're a metallic looking uh, blues, so they they pop out real well. And you'd find it. You find little uh, highlights of blue here and there within the figure, you know, like on the gun and the barrel of the gun right there. And then right here. Just just a real cool color scheme on this guy. I really like how, how they did it. Also you got the uh the Decepticon symbol, the purple Decepticon symbol right there. Very, very cool figure. Uh this right here is a rubbery plastic. So yeah, very cool. And this is also a hard plastic. This is a hard plastic, not a rubbery plastic. So it's nice and sturdy. Um, articulation, it's pretty good on this guy. It's uh, you know, of course it's a panther. Can't really do much with the with the panther, but you know you can do that. Bends right there. His 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 feet do close up but that's for the for the uh, transformation his legs back here do go 360 degrees out and in a bit been at that point and been at that point right there and and unlike that one they do, they do not close they 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 rotate like that you can't close them they just rotate um he also has some waist articulation, kind of weird for Ravage, but that's cool. If you want to stalk your prey like that, you could do that. That's cool. Ah, something's wrong with my back. But yeah, the gun is the guns are also articulated. You know, you could pose them whichever way you want. So he's got some some okay articulation, and he only comes with one gimmick in this mode. Actually, in this whole, <laughs> in both modes, this is only his gimmick. You get the lever back here, pull it back, and he goes, Oh, he talks. <gasps> his ears go back, which is kind of cool. Let's check that out. His ears go back. <gasps> Who? Why? Ah. And he does have some light piping, but it doesn't really shine all that well with his one eye poor guy and uh... his tail's articulated I, I, I missed that goes up and down a bit it, it twists right there at that point it also twists up here in the upper part and also this part moves you could have it like like Piaw said the barb or you could go back and have it like a blade thing going on I prefer the barb like Piala does too. It's, I think it looks better. Uh, a little size comparison for you guys. Oh yeah, I kind of like this. It's it's nothing major, but I like how they engineered that. It looks cool. Looks like a little gear thing going on. 
he rotated his his, uh, his leg. The, uh, the the front part only rotate. The uh, the back like the back legs don't. Little size comparison, so you know what you're dealing with. Got the Oreo. An Oreo? What the hell is that thing doing there? I meant Bumblebee. This is movie uh, Bumblebee, the first movie. Concept Camaro Bumblebee. So you can see what you're dealing with. And shoot, why not? Classics Ravage. Are you my dad? <laughs> But uh, transformation on this guy is very simple. But like I said, this is the good, this is the better of the modes. But anyways, let's go to its re-entry mode as they call it. Transformation on this guy is very simple. What you want to do is push back on his arms. You see, you got that. You push him all the way back. Rotate it to where the side like that is facing his ear. Close up his hands. The same for over here. Close up the hands, and you just shove it in his ear. Just shove that in his ear like that. And you close it up here in the front. There you go. They just connect together like that. That's the way it is. And then these feet. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You go down here, open this up. These are the wings. Open up the wings. Bam. The same for over here. Shabam. Pull the legs down. Because they kind of snap up here, you just pull them down. I'm sorry, you got to rotate these two. They're going to be like that. You rotate them up. Pull them down. And there's these little holes right here. On the side, you just want to connect them to those silver things right there. It holds the wings in place. And all you do is just fold down the tail and turn them up, and turn it up like that. And that's it. Fix the guns a bit. You can either have them up or down. I like them up. And you have Ravage re-entry mode. I mean, it's. It's okay. Like Piaz said, it just looks like a fold up cat. So nothing too special. But uh, we're getting ravaged for his. Uh, for his panther mode and not this mode. I mean, it, it, it's, it's alright. It's cool. Uh, but I prefer the panther mode. Some of y'all might like this mode. It, it, I mean, it's okay. His re entry mode. Got the whole flight, you know, stealth kind of thing going on. But, uh, yeah, I like the whole panther mode instead. But, uh, that's it, guys. I highly recommend him when he does come out. I'm not really sure when he does come out. And, uh, I think you guys would like him, especially the panther mode. That was my favorite. Uh, he could stalk your other Transformers, and they'd be like, oh, I hate this guy. But yes, I highly recommend them. Pick them up when he does come out, guys. And I just want to thank P.R. again for, you know, letting me uh, giving me the opportunity to win this guy. So, take care, guys. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you later. To all our war. Just a little size comparison real quick before I leave. Before I leave. Bye-bye, guys.